Hello friends, welcome back to EduTab. In this is another session of Topper Centrum. In this session, we have Miss Salin Sabu with us. I welcome you, Salin. Thank you, sir. Okay. I take immense pride to introduce our student who was few days before an aspiring NABARD grade officer and today is a NABARD grade officer. So first of all, I would like to congratulate Mr. Salin on this uh, huge uh, achievement. Thank you, sir. Okay. So Salin, tell us, how's the feeling of having made it to sir, NABARD grade? Uh, uh, actually, I'm really happy. You know, uh, uh, you know, I have uh, graduated in 2015, and after these long years, uh, I got a satisfying job. Okay, that sounds really great. So, uh, Salin, we'll uh, inform our viewers about your background. So, kindly brief us about that. Uh, sir, I'm a mechanical engineering graduate. Okay. Uh, uh, I have completed my graduation in 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, in college in Kerala. Uh, then uh, for two years, I prepared for UPSC. Okay. Uh, then I joined the Kerala government, Panjaiti Raji department and okay. worked as a clerk, clerk in there for three years. Mm -hmm. uh, then I joined uh, another department uh, after writing PSC. Mm -hmm. uh, I have joined diary development department and currently working as a diary instructor okay. in Kerala. Mm -hmm. uh, and I am hopefully moving to Nabad. Okay, okay. That's really a, a, a journey filled with so many ups and downs. So, Salin, let me ask you, see, uh, I, I, as we go through your profile, you have uh, been working, then worked as a clerk, then, you know, you, you never give up. The drive was always there to achieve something big. So, you know, yes, what okay. is that drive that, you know, kept you pushing to achieve something big? Uh, sir, actually, uh, I got a, a close group of friends. Uh, they are really, really genuine friends. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I actually uh, kept me kept uh, motivating keep motivating me. Okay. And they are actually they are the driving force uh, behind me to uh, quit UPSC preparation and move towards another regulatory body exams and all. Okay. Uh, so that is really good, huh? So uh, Salin, you know, asking us about uh, uh, you know uh, when we go through your journey. I, I see you have fa faced multiple setbacks in UPSC and uh, yes. again, uh, you wrote uh, state PCS exams. So, you know, uh, what was the motivation during this entire journey? Uh, sir, uh, real motivation is I want, uh, actually I was, uh, uh, I am a mechanical engineering graduate. I am doing a job which was uh, not suitable for me. Mm -hmm. That was the real motivation. I want to achieve something uh, which suit my graduation. Okay. So, but uh, again, moving into Nabard, will it suit your graduation? I, I, sir, I think so. Because, uh, because even in uh, the Punjab department and diary department, mm -hmm. I could uh, use my graduation knowledge in some okay. of the fields. Mm -hmm. Like in Punjab department, uh, I could uh, design a plastic bailing machine prototype. Uh, okay, okay. In, uh, in diary field also, I could use my uh, okay. knowledge in so your ultimate uh, to reiterate you your ultimate goal was to uh, use your uh, go into the stream where your uh, mechanical knowledge would be put to use okay oh yes sir yes sir then it, i am mm. from a rural background i uh, i know what the real problems are here okay and i think i hope uh, i am hoping that i can uh, actually uh, okay okay chat in there uh, no, that takes me to the next natural question. You know, uh, if you wanted to uh, use your graduation knowledge, why not go into mechanical course stream? Why diversify yourself or divert to other exams like this? Uh, actually, uh, after my graduation, I uh, I, shift, I shift moved away from this uh, mechanical engineering section. Okay. I'm actually, I, I, uh, I'm not much... Uh, uh, compatible enough in the, uh, that field that exams and all i i had written many exams in okay. railway, mm -hmm. uh, and i i could not clear that okay okay uh, that mm -hmm. that two years 15 to 17 i focused completely on upsc okay uh, about uh, 15 to 16 hours of preparation mm -hmm. in that two years okay, okay. and I, I lost my uh, touch in this mechanical engineering exams and all okay okay so uh, not an issue, uh, Selin, but uh, huge congratulations again today what you achieved. Uh, Selin, uh, you know, someone, a fresher who is be beginning right now preparation after looking at this interview, you know, you it's been quite long journey around 
eight years in your case. So you know, uh, what have been the mistakes that you were, uh, you know, that were committed in the past, and uh, how did you overcome them? So maybe you could just uh, enlighten us about that. Uh, sir, uh, actually, this is my first NABARD attempt. Okay. Uh, previous to that, I had written RBA grade B. Mm -hmm. And one of the uh, mistake, uh, I cleared the prelims of RBA. Mm -hmm. And one of the mistakes I had uh, made in the uh, second phase two is uh, I, I did not read the budget, uh, economic survey, and all government sources. I skipped mm -hmm. that part. And that really cost me. Okay. Then, uh, and then I had this false feeling that I can type really fast. Uh, okay. I, I did not uh, give any any preparation to that, and uh, that also uh, failed me. Okay. So for Nabad, Nabad, uh, I uh, I dedicated almost half to one hour per day for my okay. typing typing speed. I improved it to thirty to forty words per minute. Okay. And. Uh, because uh, we have we had the already the content after mm -hmm. the first one, we had the content then okay. we have to uh, in the UPSC I uh, uh, I had written four I cleared four prelims okay uh, and I failed in four mains okay uh, okay the right part was really difficult for me mm -hmm. so here uh, I had given maximum effort to this this is typing right okay. so I had given maximum effort to typing and uh, I improved okay. my typing speed mm -hmm. I think that that. That was one of the uh, posties. Okay, okay. Salin, coming to again your journey of uh, eight years. So now asking you, how has this journey changed you personally? I mean, what has been the transformation if you talk to Salin of 2015 and Salin of 2023? What has been the changes, major changes, and how has it been? Uh, sir, first, first thing I have learned that uh, uh, these failures are part of our life. Okay. Uh, I had uh, either for the UPSC, we had to prepare one complete year uh, mm -hmm. from prelim to last year's main special came. The one one year will be gone. Okay. And, just notice. and after this one year of uh, rigorous uh, preparation, I could not find my uh, number in this uh, list. Okay. So that was first in 2015 when I uh, uh, first wrote the UPSC. Mm. I I had this feeling that I will clear with the top ranks in uh, okay. that exam. Mm -hmm. uh, that that uh, really uh, I, that did not happen. Okay. And after the four mains, that was uh, really uh, tough. Tough. Yeah, to, tough uh, to digest. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, four four mains failures. Mm -hmm. I could not. Sir, uh, one minute, sir, one minute. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and that was really tough. Then I realized that this is a part of our life. Uh, I mm. uh, uh, till that time I am uh, not ready to accept failures. Okay. After, uh, after uh, till my graduation, I did not fail in any subjects at all. Mm. Then suddenly uh, that changed mm -hmm. uh, because continuous failures. Uh, then uh, uh, I had to stop preparing for UPS in 2017 because of my family financial okay. situations and. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then I realized that everything is part of our life. We have mm -hmm. to accept what comes to our okay. life. Then uh, we have to choose genuine friends uh, mm -hmm. because some some of them will always encourage you. They don't mm -hmm. uh, uh, tell you your weaknesses and all. They okay. will always encourage you, you can achieve this, you can achieve mm -hmm. that. And, uh, but what we need is a fr a friends. Uh, they Critical are analysis. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that's mm -hmm. what we needed. Okay. And I got... I got a few of them. One is can I mention their name? One is Bindu, Bindu okay. mm -hmm. Then uh, two of them are uh, R, uh, RBI officers, Miranda okay. Chetan and mm. Thomas. Then Anand Justin. Okay. They are really good. Uh, they they will tell you. Uh, last time when I uh, failed in the fourth mains, mm. they uh, they uh, video called me and uh, told me yeah, right into my face that um, UPSC is not my cup of tea. Okay. And I have. Uh, they they know my strengths because all the objective exams I will I will clear mm. very easily. Okay. And this descriptive part I am really failing. Mm -hmm. uh, then that I have to change my course. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to prepare for RBA. Uh, they told me. Okay. Then I uh, prepared for RBA. I cleared mm -hmm. the problems. Mm -hmm. uh, then came the NABAR. Uh, they really helped me. But they shared all their materials with me. Mm -hmm. uh, and that really helped that. Choosing your friends—that is another important thing. Choosing right okay. and genuine friends—that oh. is really important. 
that's really a deep insight silent coming from you so friends uh, uh, the only advice that comes from uh, the advice that comes from salen is have a right set of friends that will really shape up your career in a great way so salen you know uh, there were many sets ups and downs as we see you know you must have already thought since it is a long journey you must have uh, had a plan b if nothing works out i will go this now uh, ex- fortunately everything has gone well and that is good so what were you thinking what was the thought process when uh, you have, were facing multiple setbacks in upsc and uh, other exams uh, actually i had joined in uh, kerala psc in 2017 okay so i had a, had a plan uh, okay if something uh, goes in my way i will uh, stick, stick to this to... current job okay mm-hmm. uh, but uh, that uh, clerical job that uh, that was actually uh, not suitable for me in okay. some way because every, every day routine where we have to type every letters and all that Yeah, yeah and uh, that was uh, actually not at all motivating for me but mm-hmm. that was a backup plan uh, if i did not get into anything that will uh, that is a bread earning to me okay okay that is, that is okay you had a then backup. my then my wife uh, my family uh, everyone okay. supported me okay my journey okay so that was my next question like uh, if i were to ask you three pillars who really you know uh, helped you or who were part of your entire journey and helped you achieve this today so what there what do those three elements would be or pillars would be uh i i first first thing is uh, my friends uh, without their help uh, and without their uh, guidance mm-hmm. i will not achieve in abroad or something like that uh, okay they they guided me to this uh, path Okay. Then second is second is my family. They supported mm-hmm. me in all my up and downs. My mother, my father, uh, my wife especially. Okay. Uh, last year when I failed in uh, the fourth mains, uh, I was completely devastated. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, uh, family members really helped me to overcome that. Uh, I I I think you know the uh, this feeling after four main. Yeah, yeah mains exactly. Failing. It's very harsh. Mm-hmm. It's very hard. okay so selin that is uh, really again a good part that you have finally made it to nabard so again once again i congratulate you uh, uh, selin now talking about uh, the examination pattern uh, there is uh, phase 1 uh, but before that i would ask you uh, you know again coming to nabard grade a preparation since you were preparing for upsc wholeheartedly there is an assumption in the market that uh, uh, the all the upsc background students they have an edge over others in the nabard grade examination since the syllabus is you know somewhat overlapping so is this uh, how relevant is this and uh, uh, if it is any uh, there are non aspirant of uh, non upsc background aspirants also who would be watching your interview so what is your piece of advice to them uh, sir i think uh... there is a 20 25 percentage uh, you will get advantage because uh, all the foundation you will cover uh, that is okay. agriculture going with schemes mm-hmm. uh, everything you will cover in upsc preparation but uh, upsc preparation is in another level you have okay. you have to mm. uh, that uh, the depth of the uh, preparation you have to uh, maintain mm-hmm. in upsc that is very really high but okay. in nabard uh, that nabard preparation that much of uh, depth is not needed you mm-hmm. have to uh, no uh, all uh, this facts and all you have to uh, okay uh, the, then another thing is uh, i since we have prepared uh, from uh, this uh, hindu newspaper and all mm-hmm. english uh, it's not a issue for us in okay mm-hmm. okay i think most of the bank uh, bank aspirants they they will also have equal edge like upsc aspirants okay, so okay. i don't think uh. upsc aspirants had any uh, additional advantage in this nabard exam okay so friends again that is a you know a very encouraging word from salen that uh, if you keep preparing and i don't think anyone has edge is are the words of salen so now coming to phase 1 examination uh, like there are eight components five are non merit and three are merit so kindly let us know about the sources for the non merit section then we will talk about the merit section firstly non merit uh, so non merit section uh, for uh, this Quant- quantitative and hmm. quantitative and reasoning what i had done is uh, my source was previous year questions okay uh, i had gone i had gone through pre- previous year questions and analyzed the pattern mm. uh, i had made this uh, weight files in each quantitative reasoning everything i had uh, prepared uh, each weight weight files then i added uh, materials to them uh, and how to solve uh, these questions uh, that i had uh, used this uh, youtube channels various youtube channels are available available to us Mm. uh that tricks to solve them and all. Okay. Uh, especially 
I had stick to my uh, strong points because they are on uh, they are non merit sections. We have just to uh, clear the cutoff. Mm -hmm. So uh, my strongest points are the quadratic equations in quantitative, mm -hmm. and uh, I think oh, every uh, so I had prepared all sort of questions from my stronger section. So okay. I can easily easily clear the cutoff. In computer also, uh, I since uh, from my clerical background, I know this PowerPoint, Excel, and all. Okay. Uh, that was really a tough paper for me. Uh, okay. I could barely answer three to four questions. Uh, that that I stopped uh, answering because if we answer uh, much more, we will get negative marking. Okay. So mm -hmm. I had just uh, just attempted to clear the cutoff. Mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, before going to exam, I just checked the cutoff of previous year. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was my target, not mm -hmm. uh, scoring full marks. Uh, that was my. Uh, uh, Strategy in this non merit sections. English, okay. uh, we will get from um, this Hindu newspaper reading okay. and all. We will mm -hmm. get very good grasp. Then uh, there is then one more component decision making. Huh? Uh, decision making uh, decision making was entirely new for me. Uh, okay. So that too, uh, I relied on previous question paper. And for each uh, technical terms uh, in the previous paper, I mm -hmm. just Googled them. Googled mm -hmm. them and prepared a short uh, uh, note for them mm -hmm. what that means. Mm -hmm. I think uh, most of the decision making question we could apply our logic. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, the meaning of that word that will that we will get from it, and okay. uh, just Google the key uh, topics, uh, key topics coming in the previous paper, and prepare a note note of that. Just uh, clear the cutoff. That is uh, what is needed in the non merit section that I learned. Okay, okay. So now uh, coming to that was a strategy, well followed strategy. So previous year question paper along with uh, googling few terms. Rest was times, your uh, background knowledge has really uh, helped you. Uh, YouTube, then uh, EduTab uh, videos and uh, okay. all other videos we, are, we will get from YouTube. Uh, they will uh, show you the tips and tricks to uh, clear these reasoning questions quantitative. Stick on your uh, strength areas. Don't okay. try to uh, improvise on uh, the weakest sections. Just mm -hmm. it is uh, uh, what non merit section. You okay. just have to clear the cut off. Just mm -hmm. uh, focus on your strong areas. That is what I what uh, we have to. Okay, again, uh, deep insight about it. Now coming to the merit section, uh, Zalin, uh, there are three components like general awareness, ESI and ERD. So tell us okay. uh, uh, specifically, let us talk about GA in particular. So what were your sources for GA? Uh, sir, for GA, uh, about three to four months of current affairs, affairs is necessary. Okay. Uh, uh, that uh, means uh, we have to go through any uh, uh, this there are a lot of these websites like, like uh, GK Today, Jagran Josh, or GTAP material, anything like that. That is necessary. Only 20 mark questions is uh, there. Mm -hmm. And half of the questions uh, you will get from an overall uh, idea about our economy, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, inflation rate, GDP rate, all things you will get. Okay. Uh, and some questions you cannot uh, answer, even with uh, mm -hmm. much of the much of the current affairs, you cannot get it. Uh, please leave it. Uh, I, uh, I had this feeling that about 10 questions in general awareness is okay for uh, clearing okay. the cutoff. Mm -hmm. uh, focus on that. And uh, just three to four months of uh, current affairs. Previous okay. two, uh, not deeply, just one liners series. Created. I just uh, skip through this website with uh, one liners. Uh, what, mm. uh, like uh, this uh, uh, athlete, athlete get uh, this medal. And okay. all that, that, that is necessary. Not uh, deep knowledge is required in this general studies paper. Just okay. 20, mark, 20 marks is. Uh, 20 mark questions okay and okay. what we are to focus on the next two sections is really scoring ESC okay. and ARD is really scoring that uh, i focused on okay so tell us uh, the sources for esi and ARD uh, and how sir, did you prepare sorry, huh? uh, uh, for esi uh, what we have to look is uh, we have this notification in our hand what okay. i look is uh, there is there is a syllabus given in the uh, given for esi okay in the, uh, last pages or something in the notification there is a syllabus vast mm -hmm. syllabus mm -hmm. and uh, there are specific terms uh, are mentioned in there like uh, this uh, education report or mm -hmm. uh, wto topics and they specifically given the name of the topics okay uh, so i uh, just googled those, those terms googled those indices reports and all i prepared short notes about that mm -hmm. then uh, that syllabus that i think that is the best source then Second mm -hmm. one is uh, we have economic survey. Okay. And don't uh, don't read the summary uh, summary. Just uh, 
there are specific chapters like last year i have uh, written it down agriculture okay. and agriculture one chapter is agriculture and food management about mm. five to ten questions came from uh, these in the both phase one and phase two okay uh, in this economic survey from since one, from one chapter only five to ten questions came Okay. Like the GDP, uh, mm -hmm. uh, like how much livestock or uh, other sections are contributing to it, mm -hmm. and uh, that numbers are just taken from this economic survey. Mm -hmm. Then another one is uh, this PR's legislative research paper on budget analysis. Mm -hmm. That is also they are given just the summary of the budget, uh, how much uh, amount is allocated to this rural development schemes, MGNR, EGS, uh, how mm -hmm. much given, how much that they had given in points, bullet points. These mm -hmm. two are. This economic survey and uh, this uh, budget analysis that really helped me clearing this ESA topics. Then uh, this economic survey four chapters, PRS budget summary. Mm -hmm. Then uh, then since I had this UPSC background uh, and I uh, recently I acquired PG in sociology. Oh, that's uh, so, congratulate. Uh, congratulations, sir. Uh, so uh, social issues uh, that uh, we can ha handle it. Then mm -hmm. uh, then some current affairs like. Uh, Pradhan Mandri Jeevan Jodi Bhima Yojana, they had uh, increased the premium amount mm -hmm. that came in uh, that two, three months gap before the exam that we will get from newspaper. Okay. And uh, ESA, we had prepared from that. Then mm -hmm. for ARD, EGTAP really came to my help. Okay. Uh, because uh, I had joined this uh, Telegram group and uh, they had given uh, each topic wise summary, summary sheets of, of each topic like animal husbandry, poultry. Mm -hmm. uh, agriculture extension everything okay. uh, uh, then one uh, I had uh, I had uh, written uh, uh, I, I had just pointed it out mm -hmm. the static the MCQ questions are there about 30 to 40 pages per topic mm -hmm. L1, L2, L3 you have given that topic like okay, that I okay. had gone through that just mm -hmm. two three days are, two three days are required and everything is given in graphical format okay like, uh, 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 there, uh, there was some question about poultry, which uh, uh, hen is uh, uh, mm -hmm. having that. And we uh, get the pictures and mm -hmm. that graphical representation really helped me in ARD section mm -hmm. because uh, uh, I, I did not have any agricultural uh, background. Uh, mm -hmm. background background in my graduation and all. That really helped me. Then uh, mm -hmm. there are a few courses I had relied on. Mm -hmm. uh, just like uh, this... Uh, uh, TNA, Tamil Nadu Agriculture yeah. University web. Uh, that is okay. that is really really, really helpful. Uh, mm -hmm. I had gone through. That. Uh, I had uh, for ARD section also. I had laid on previous year question paper. I just moved, I just downloaded previous year three four years previous year question papers mm -hmm. and just uh, gone through what questions they had asked. Okay. And, uh, I focused on that. Educative also. Uh, there are there is a summary sheet about uh, each topic about fifty to sixty pages. That mm -hmm. that too. In that, I focused on this previous year uh, question, mainly in the area where previous year questions are asked. Okay. And then, uh, the, uh, along with the TNI website, I had gone through Indian Meteorological Department's uh, website. There is a glossary of all these meteorological terms available. Okay. Like how, how much uh, amount of rain is called a heavy rain? Mm -hmm. uh, what is called a dust? And all, all that things are there. That okay. is about two to three pages. About uh, one day is required to. Uh, go through that okay paper. uh then uh, another one one is uh these advanced estimates mm -hmm. uh about tropical sir crop that okay. we will get from pab of just mm -hmm. just have a rough idea about how much is the will be the rice production wheat production mm -hmm. and then uh this uh one another uh, source i got for national food security mission okay uh, nfsi uh, there, Ministry of Agriculture website. There is mm. a ready ready reckoner PDF is available. Okay. By crops. So for every crops, uh, they have given how much amount of seed is required for how much amount of area. Mm -hmm. How much? Uh, what is the temperature required? What What are the okay. other agronomical conditions required for each crops? Mm -hmm. uh, that is also about twenty to thirty pages. We can cover it in two to three days. Okay. Uh, that That also really helped me in this ARB section. So okay. a mix. So of educative materials and these government sources. Okay. And, uh, that really help help me. Okay. In this area. And this will help not only in phase one, uh, mm. phase two uh, these materials, especially this uh, budget and economic survey. That okay. will really help when you're uh, phase two exam. 
Okay. Selena, I get a question that, you know, since you were working and you had a very limited time, uh, so how did you manage your time preparing for the exam? Uh, sir, actually, uh, I was a little, little bit of lazy in uh, this preparation. Uh, okay. Uh, I am not a morning guy. I won't uh, get up early. <laughs> so mm -hmm. uh, morning, morning uh, studying is not possible for me. Mm. Uh, I came, I will, I came back from office at about six o'clock, six p.m. Mm -hmm. Then up to one o'clock, I will, I work up until until one a.m. Mm -hmm. So in between, uh, I will study about three to four hours. Okay. Uh, day. Mm. That day for Nabad, I just I, I started preparing from uh, the Ju July. Okay. Just after the certification game, after mm -hmm. the uh, RB grade B result game, and okay. number motivation, mm -hmm. and I just started preparing from there. There only, mm -hmm. July, July to this September, I um, covered all these topics. Mm -hmm. and, uh, actually, uh, we don't have to go deep into these terminologies and all. Uh, one example is that uh, for poultry, uh, fisheries and all, EduTap had given a glossary of the important terms used mm -hmm. in this all. Place, what okay. is uh, what, uh, the last two pages? Uh, mm -hmm. You have to first read all these terminologies mm -hmm. because on the top, uh, all the other 20 to 30 pages, uh, there there is vast vast information is there. Mm -hmm. But even uh, these uh, terminologies, uh, if we by heart it or if we understand what these terminologies means, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, as some sort of anadromous species there, catadromous. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. Uh, that terms uh, just uh, EduTap had given the terminologies in that section. Mm -hmm. uh, what that term means? Mm -hmm. Just you have to uh, know what is that. You, if you don't have any time to uh, read all the above topics, mm -hmm. just go through this summary or these terminologies. Mm -hmm. Terminologies you can also uh, for uh, animal husbandry and all you can uh, rely on EduTap or just Google uh, that animal husbandry related terminologies. You will get or uh, two three pages uh, uh, PDF like that. Just go through that terminologies. That is uh, okay. Also, mm -hmm. uh, that so, is how I manage my time. Okay. So you found the right material is what you mean to say, right material and uh, limited. Uh, so how how many hours you used to study on a daily basis? Uh, uh, three to four hours. Uh, three to four hours daily. Then uh, I uh, since uh, because I am married and I have okay. family. Okay. I take Sunday Sunday uh, uh, Sunday off. So off. I mm. I won't study. Okay. Uh, I was a little bit lazy, mm -hmm. but I don't uh, uh, say that everyone should do that because I have okay. this uh, a sociology. I, I had completed sociology, so I have this okay. uh, basic about so society and, mm -hmm. uh, and then I had this UPSC background. I had yeah, yeah. vigorously prepared for two years, so mm -hmm. some be some benefit is there. Okay. And uh, uh, so I uh, took some off time. Uh, okay. In between. The Okay, that's really good. So now coming to phase two, Salen, uh, like um, this was your first attempt, okay, in about in phase two, we have two paper. One is the descriptive English paper and the other is ES and ERD paper. In descriptive English, there are three components like press writing, letter writing and the essay. So what did, what were your sources for those three components? Uh, sir, uh, uh, EduTab had provided uh, this materials report, how to write a report, how to write an essay. Okay. Uh, you had given uh, slides so slides on that. I had okay. uh, explained on that. Then yeah. uh, the main thing you have to focus on is your typing speed. Mm -hmm. uh, if we have a false feeling that uh, we are well versed in mobile and we will we can type really mm -hmm. fast, that will, that will really going to uh, fail you in the exam. Okay. Because I had this false feeling in RB grade B exam. Mm -hmm. uh, when we enter the exam hall, uh, everywhere everywhere the other students they. Uh, make noises in typing this keyboard okay, uh, we will okay. actually uh, in the right if, if we are writing the exam you won't listen to these uh, sounds and all when we are <laughs> hearing that all pe all people around you are typing really fast that will mm. really uh, demoralize you mm. that is one effect uh, so please uh, provide about half an hour uh, mm -hmm. half to one hour uh, i used uh, uh, this website 10fastfingers.com mm -hmm. uh, where we can uh, measure our typing speed Okay. Please, uh, please uh, prepare for it. Just look, uh, typing, looking into the screen only, mm -hmm. not uh, a keyboard, because you have to uh, check the uh, grammar mistakes or spelling mistakes which are mm -hmm. coming to the. So uh, this touch typing, practice in touch typing is uh, really important. You have okay. to uh, don't have to uh, go above uh, thirty words per minute. Thirty words per minute is okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that is fine. You can uh, uh, since you cleared the. Uh, 
phase one, you had this material about uh, ARD, ESA, and all you have this content within mm -hmm. you. So just uh, improve your typing skills. Uh, okay. That that was necessary. Mm -hmm. So content what no, was not an issue for you. The typing was a greater challenge for you. Mm. Yes, uh, since I had uh, followed our, all these things like budget, economic survey, edit mm -hmm. uh, and all, uh, we had this content that okay. that is with me. How to mm -hmm. express or how to uh, type it uh, more effectively? Mm -hmm. That is that really matters. Okay, and apart from this, did you take uh, any mocks for the descriptive English paper? Uh, for mocks, uh, I did not appear in any mocks for uh, okay. this phase two. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, not an issue. Now coming to paper two, uh, Salen, like uh, we have 50 marks objective component and 50 marks descriptive. So both ES and ERD uh, are asked in the question paper. So how did you yes. prepare for this uh, paper two? Uh, sir, paper two also, uh, I had followed the, the phase one materials for ESA and ARD. Mm -hmm. Like government was mainly this, uh, this budget economic survey. Uh, uh, then we have uh, to, I, I forgot to mention that we okay. had to make a separate note about this, uh, what is the GDP growth of India as per mm -hmm. this report. Mm -hmm. And we have, uh, uh, if we uh, did not note it down, we will forget it before exam. So okay. just prepare and note uh, that we can uh, just uh, go through it just before entering into the exam hall. Mm -hmm. What is the GDP growth? Uh, what in which position India is standing in this gender gap report and mm -hmm. all that. Then what is the uh, 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 position of India in this report? What mm -hmm. is the position of this in this report? Uh, I think Nabad is, uh, Nabad is currently asking what is the third third position state in, in this report. And mm -hmm. So we have to prepare all that. First, okay. second and third, you have to uh, uh, study. Just prepare a note on that uh, and just uh, go through it before entering into the exam. All that really uh, works. Uh, that also helps in phase two because the objective part, they will ask about what is the position of India in this report and all. Then you have to go through NABAD website. Okay. There are NABAD subsidi subsidiaries there. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't say that you have to go to go through this annual report. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, annual report will tend to use in interview interview preparation. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, all other things like NABAD schemes are there, uh, like Jiva and all schemes mm -hmm. are there. KCC. Okay. You have to have an overall view of those schemes. Then subsidiaries. What this subsidiary is doing. That mm. all are given given in this website. Nabad website is really good for collecting information. Okay, okay. So uh, then, uh, yeah. Okay, sir, please, okay. Continue. Hun, please continue. Mm. Okay, then uh, ARD se uh, section. Uh, uh, you can apply your logic. Like they had given a, a big statement, and they are asking question from like poultry. They had asked the question. Mm -hmm. I just uh, I had just gone through that statement uh, completely and applied my logic. What will be the area of uh, that? uh poultry uh, mm -hmm. system uh, that question the volume of the own box they had asked uh, mm -hmm. i just support my logic uh, what is the size of a hen and what uh, mm -hmm. uh, area is required for that okay uh, they, 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 i just applied this then i had this rural experience experience i mm -hmm. uh, worked in the dairy department so i visited farmers also every day uh, mm -hmm. so uh, i know how much uh, area is required what they are doing okay uh, what type what type of cows they are rearing, what type of hens they are uh, rearing. I, mm -hmm. uh, that, I, that from my pers personal direct experience, I mm -hmm. know about these things. Practical experience is there. Okay. So that, uh, that also helped me in uh, phase two. Okay. So same goes with descriptive uh, component or was there any different approach towards the descriptive? Uh, descriptive, uh, I, since uh, uh, same thing I mentioned earlier, uh, you have to uh, follow the phase one materials, mainly this uh, economic survey, uh, budget material, then you know, P, uh, PAB materials are there, mm -hmm. uh, edit materials, not much deeper uh, because they will ask general questions regarding uh, agricultural world development and economic social issues. Okay. Uh, then uh, since I, ha I had this uh, sociology background, ESA topics are okay for me. Uh, okay. I, can write, I mm -hmm. could type anything uh, mm -hmm. related to that. Uh, so that it was not an issue for me. Uh, okay. Just uh, prepare about uh, 10 to 20 essays before entering uh, the exam hall. Mm -hmm. Just prepare for 500 words essay. Just type that. Type, okay. type it down mm -hmm. and go. Uh, some questions will definitely come. About 20 four topics, about mm -hmm. two to three will definitely come in the so okay. If you are uh, typing it for the first time, it will uh, definitely take much more time. Mm -hmm. If you uh, had prepared before that, uh, you can easily 
track it. Okay, okay. So again, the, those are really encouraging words from coming from Mr. Salin. Uh, Salin, now uh, having talked about it, uh, so did you again give any mocks for the phase two or like paper two? Uh, paper two, uh, phase two examination, I did not give any mock. In, mock. Okay, okay. So now uh, coming to interview stage. So when you cleared, uh, I think, uh, how was the feeling when you cleared past mains this time? Uh, actually, uh... I could not realize. Uh, I I was on a field visit uh, my on my duty, mm -hmm. and I was standing there in uh, near a paddy field, and mm -hmm. I could not realize me. I just stopped my bike and uh, stood there for about half an hour. Okay, I called my nice. wife, mm -hmm. and my friends, and uh, I, I had uh, sent the result. Mm -hmm. If I am, uh, I could not believe my eyes because okay. I, I, whether it is my number or not. Okay. Uh, that was that was really uh, really special. Uh, what mm. special, special so that feeling. this was uh, the post the mains result, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, not post mains. Uh, ah. I I uh, about the uh, last yeah, final result. final. No, okay, okay. Final. Okay, okay. The main ah. result, uh, main results came came just uh, on uh, December, I think. That mm -hmm. that was just casual. Okay. I did not expect much uh, because uh, this is uh, mains is not uh, my cup of tea for mm -hmm. this much of years. Mm -hmm. Every mains, UKC uh, mains. Uh, then I I had written uh, Kerala uh, administrative service that mm -hmm. mains I failed. And, mm -hmm. uh, in the forest service I had written. Mm -hmm. uh, then this uh, RBA grade B. Every mm -hmm. mains I failed. so I did okay. not have much expectation. Then cell came and an SMS came. You had qualified. Mm -hmm. uh, that that was okay. Uh, just cleared. Okay. And this final final result really uh, was uh, really surprising for me. Okay. Uh, so coming to interview preparation, uh, Salin, like there are two components. One is the HR component and the HR based question. The other one is the technical. So what were your sources for both these components? Uh, so, sir, actually, um, in this interview part, uh, Edutab had really helped me because okay that was. The that was the first interview in my life. Mm -hmm. uh, first mock interview, mock interview or interview, first interview okay. in my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was completely blank. Uh, uh, the questions they had asked, I could not answer well. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were really uh, cordial and friendly people. The interview, mm -hmm. interview panel. They had told me that I am from uh, rural background. I mm -hmm. worked in rural area for six years. Mm -hmm. uh, in Punjab, I had worked for three years. Then in diary department for three years. Mm -hmm. So I had. They told me that I had to prepare much on uh, this uh, rural uh, connecting to my uh, current job. Like, like, okay. Like, uh, diary department. Mm -hmm. So then only I realized that I had to. The, Nabad has so many schemes related to diary. Mm -hmm. And I started uh, googling them. Then uh, I focused them on Nabad uh, annual report. Annual report is really handy in this in the mm -hmm. section. Okay. Uh, and uh, that uh, mock interview really helped me. I, okay. Uh, that was that was that was really okay. Uh, helpful. So you have given only one mock, or had you given multiple mocks? Uh, I I had uh, uh, one more mock uh, that my friends I I told. I okay. Okay. Told yeah, before. friends. Uh huh. Uh, Okay. Their friends, they had they had given another mock. Uh, okay. That was really that was also really encouraging. They uh, they are such patients like they call a spade a spade that mm -hmm. they won't hesitate to uh, give false impressions like uh, that's good, that's good. They will okay. uh, tell you tell in just looking into your face that uh, this is bad, this is not okay. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so like this and all. Uh, that was also really okay. So now coming to the interview, how was the experience? The original interview on, at Nabad. Uh, original interview was really uh, that was also really friendly, uh, friendly mm -hmm. and uh, engaging. Uh, uh, since like this, EduTap uh, mentors said, uh, uh, said they generally asked about diary related diary uh, related questions mm -hmm. and about scheme. Then uh, uh, for it, uh, another confusing questions they did not ask about okay. mostly about this factual questions. How much? What is the uh, what is a diary entrepreneurship development scheme mm -hmm. and what is KCC? How is mm -hmm. my field experience in this diary sector? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, in from which sources you had uh, studied much about Nabat? I mm -hmm. replied that from annual report of Nabat. Okay. Uh, like that, uh, like uh, Nabat Jiva schemes and all. Mm -hmm. Most of them are factual questions. Then uh, these diary related questions they are asked. Okay. That really 
Mm-hmm. So, what was the duration of the interview? Uh, about fifteen minutes, ten to fifteen minutes it lasted. Okay. okay. Uh, in the record, of, uh, I uh, it was a neutral interview. Uh, mm-hmm. they, uh, I don't have to. Uh, uh, there, there was no negative feeling uh, mm-hmm. after the interview. Okay. Okay. Uh, not too, not too much positive, but it was a neutral interview. Okay. Okay. I see. So uh, that was all with regard to the entire journey of Mr. Salin Sabu, and we congratulate him again. So Salin, before we uh, uh, end this session, is there any parting advice to all the future aspirants? You know, from your end. Hmm. Uh, one uh, one thing is you have to uh, go through the previous question paper and then the syllabus. These two are uh, the best sources of studying uh, any exams. Previous mm-hmm. question paper you will get from uh, memory based question paper from many sites. Okay. Then this syllabus you will get from this notification. Notification last page or something like that. You will get all this ARD, related, ARD and ESA. They will specifically given. I think that is for phase two they have given, but mm-hmm. in the phase one also they these uh, topics are really important. They mm-hmm. mention uh, specific topics like uh, gender gap, uh, gender gap report, and all the in this syllabus. Mm-hmm. And you have to uh, make it as your source document for okay. the syllabus have to be become the source document for your preparation. Okay. So that's all we have in this particular session, friends. We wish you a lot of success in the coming time as well, Mr. Salin. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.